And I wanted I thought would show you the Acker proof key pass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already in quite okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, this is it. Um so what we've what we've done is we've been merging with this because um, some people have been saying it's not hacker proof and this is the way we do it. There's probably better methods out there. Um, so you put your redstone torch down and, and as you can see, it doesn't open the door. Um, I keep saying, oh, what's up with me? We have actually added a code as well that um, if you put, let's say it again, <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you put a command in instead of the password, it will actually uh, reboot the computer and close the, well, Close the program. Yeah. Um, this is just that what we do. Um, you don't have to put that code in, but we do. Uh, so I'll also show you um, what I'm actually trying to show you here. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's our, oh, that's our password there. Yeah, so that opens like normal. Did you steal my card? I didn't take no card. Oh, no. I got it. I thought the bastard stole my card. <laughs> <laughs> Kill. Yeah. There we go. That's that's reboot the computer and uh, cancelled the code. Yeah. So let's get on with it, Ross. Okay. You ready? Yeah. So um, first things first. Uh, remove the door. This is a uh, continue on from my last video. So remove yeah. the door. Um, put the door this way, like that. Oh, okay. So it's against there. Yeah. Okay. So let's get in. Doing. I'm having a look at the computer. Okay, so um, we did last time, um, we named it Startup, um, but for the way we're doing this, we do not want it to be Startup because every time the computer will reboot, it will actually run the program and we do not want that. No. Well, we don't, but some people might, so just, just leave it called Startup if you want that. Well, if you don't, uh, do this. So, MV, and then we go Startup. Yes. So, what this is telling to do is... It's ten oh god, hang on, not that. I need someone that I could remember that I know it's spelled. Um so what this is trying to tell it is to rename the startup file to dot open. Um so we press enter. And if you look at uh, programs, it should actually say dot open and you shouldn't see no startup on there. Ah yes. So let's clear this out and let's get into the program. So edit dot open. So here we am in the program. Okay. So at the end of well, true do, uh, we need another space. We need another line. So what we're going to put in this line is, um, if I can remember properly, hang on. I've got He's going into the the uh, synapses of the back of the brain. Yeah, I've gone. I've gone deaf. What? Anyway. <laughs> so so R S um, set output. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, left, and we want this the comma there, space, and want this true. Okay. So, um, so when this program runs, it's going to set our output to the left, and then if we go down to where it says RS set output left true. Yeah. We put this first. Put that false. Yeah. So change that. Not bloody. I'll spell right do. Oh God. There we go. And then we delete the one underneath. So. Ah. Hang on, I've got to get my cursor there, it's playing up. So we delete this one, get this one out there, picture. Hang on, I've got, I've got to go slowly because I'll delete the end of the, the, the sleep. Okay, so um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put a space there, get a new line. Is this the kill command? Yeah, so um, I think, hang on, I'll just check how many space that is in. One, two, and on the third one we put else. Okay. And we're going to underneath the L and put if input equal, oh, no, not equals, 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 comma, kill. So this is going to be our command. Uh, you can change it to whatever you like. Um, you can change this to terminate if you wanted to. Um, but that's kind of easy for people to figure out. Um, so just just put this to whatever you like. This is like your second password. Um, Kind of thing. Yeah. So we go underneath the F and put shell dot run. Okay. And then bracket and then we go comma reboot bracket not bracket comma bracket and then at the end of that we actually put N so it's closing that if. So basically what that's trying to tell it is that if we put kill in instead of the password it will run the reboot command. 
Ah, okay. Okay. So, if I don't kill in there. No, I'm gone. <laughs> so, we go door open, and here we go. Um, you got the right card for this? Uh, I don't think I have now. Oh, hey. thank you. Okay. So, he puts the card in. There we go. And he says, hey, hey the password. Kill. So, and he puts kill in, and there we go. It's killed it. So, the reason we're checking this before we actually put our... Um, terminate command in, you know, to stop the people from terminating it, is so that we can check that that works. And then we're going to put the command in to stop people from terminating it. So we go yep. edit door open. And now at the top, we need a couple of spaces, because I like a couple. Yes. So os dot pull event space equals space os pull event raw. Okay. okay, and uh, what I'm going to do as well is just put a term clear command in, just so it makes it all nice and tidy. Okay, so that's your command, uh, what you need to put in, and now when we try it, Ross shouldn't be able to terminate it. Control T. Oh, do. That was my favourite pl pastime, that was. Oh, and here we go. Uh, we're just going to check the redstone touch. Oh, okay. There you go. And then if you put uh, his password in, <laughs> which is one, two, three, four. I got my card back and I've opened the door. And then if you put his card in, um, see with the kill command you need to put the card in as well. So you put your card in and then you put a kill in. Yep. And then you go back to your computer. And you terminate it and it's all done. And that's just a, a little, uh, uh, what's it called, workaround um, method program to try and get back into your computer after you've... Because um, you can't actually get back into once you put that command in. It's kind of kind of awkward to stop the program. Yeah, it's a bit of a security thing, isn't it? Yeah. Too? So it's just it's just for your sake, for your needs. So thanks for watching this tutorial. We'll be back with another tutorial very soon.